So I want you that for the next five days we should give up all the anxieties of the world and we should uh, sit along with Maharaj Parikshit on the banks of the river Ganges and hear Krishna Katha from Shukadeva Swami. <coughs> Maharaj Parikshit has only few days left with him before he could give up his body. He has already heard all the nine cantos from the lips of Shukadeva Goswami. And now he is asking <coughs> a question, few questions to Maharaj Parikshit. Sri Raja Uvacha Kathito Vansha Vistaro Bhavata Soma Suryayo Ragya Chobayaman Shayam Charitam Paramad Bhutam. Now, <coughs> Maharaj Parikshit, he is, he is requesting Shukdeva Goswami that, My dear Lord, <coughs> you have elaborately described about the Moon Dynasty and the Sun Dynasty hmm? and, and also the wonderful, beauty, wonderful characteristics of all those kings. In the ninth canto, in the, in the ninth canto, in the later chapters, Shukdeva Goswami he spoke very elaborately on uh, uh, on so different kings which were there in the dynasty of uh, Sun God and the Moon God. <coughs> Then he, then he came to uh, and he described the activities of Lord Krishna in just few verses. <coughs> and Maharaj Parikshit, who was uh, a natural devotee of the Lord, he wanted to hear more about Lord Krishna. He was actually waiting for so long that when will Shukadeva Goswami speak about Lord Krishna? And when he when Shukadeva Goswami spoke, he spoke in one line in, in one or two verses he finished off everything. He said he said that Lord Krishna, who is known as Lila Purushottam, appeared as the son of Vasudev. But he immediately left for Vrindavan and, <coughs> and he's, he uh, did some wonderful confidential pastimes with the associates there. He killed many, many demons there and then he went to Mathura and killed Kansa. And then he went to Dwarka. And he married there so many thousands of wives and in this way his pastimes uh, came, to, uh, came to an end. That's it, he finished it off. Yeah. And Maharaj Parikshya said, oh, what has he done? He has summarized the whole thing in just in Lord Krishna's pastimes in one verse. <coughs> so there are two families which are very famous in the line, uh, which the one from coming from the sun god and one from the moon god. <coughs> and but Maharaj Parikshit was very much interested in Chandra Vansha now because uh, he wanted to hear more about Krishna Chandra. <coughs> so here uh, he is saying Yadasya dharma shilasya nitaram munisattama tatram shenan shenavartinasya vishnor virnaya chansasa. 
he is saying oh my dear shukdev goswami <coughs> you are very pious and uh, very uh, very very uh, learned so i want to hear from you about all those wonderful activities of lord vishnu who appeared in the yadu dynasty говорит дорогой шукадева госвами ты очень благочестив и очень ученый и теперь я хочу от тебя услышать о всех тех замечательных деяниях господа кришны которые он совершил явившись в династии яду now how are lord krishna's activities and past times how are they how, it is very difficult to describe them in a very short while да и деяния господа кришны трудно описать коротко Lord Ananta Shesha, he uh, he took birth as a uh, son of Kadru. Господин Анташеша родился как сын Кадру. And he <coughs> performed he was he performed devotional service unto Lord Shri Krishna, Ananta Shesha. И он занимался преданным служением. Ананта Шеша служил Господу Кришне. Hmm? And when Krishna appeared in front of him, he ins- he instructed him to Uh, hold the hold the universe as bhumandala on his on his hoods he uh, lord krishna appeared before him he uh, lord krishna appeared before ananda shesh mm-hmm. and he ordered him to hold the bhumandala on his uh-huh. heads и когда господь кришна явился перед ананда шешей он дал ему указание чтобы тот держал всю вселенную бумандалу на своих руках ananda shesh told okay today is uh, what is today's date Hmm? 28 June so half till how many days I should I hold this bhumandala? Я надо же спросил. Так, но сегодня у нас 28 июня. И сколько мне теперь держать бхумандалу? And Lord Krishna told him that you start with your 100 we have you have 1000 mouths so with that 1000 mouths you start speaking about my glories and past times and activities and when that come to when that comes to end keep keep the universe down. No problem. И Господь Кришна сказал ему: "Ну что, у тебя тысяча ртов, поэтому ты свои тысячи ртов начни рассказывать мою славу, мои деяния, игры, и когда ты всё расскажешь, тогда сразу же опускай вселенную". So Lord Krishna's activities from past times are unlimited and they cannot come to an end. И игры, формы Господа Кришны, его слава безграничная, поэтому закончиться они не могут. And Ananda says with his thousand hoods he is speaking all those things. И Ананда Шеша своими тысячами ртов все это рассказывает. And it's still not getting over. It's никак не может закончиться. So, <coughs> Maharaj Parishit is inquiring from Shukadev Goswami and is saying, "Please, uh, I want to elaborately hear about those activities of Lord Shri Krishna." И Махараджа Парикшит спрашивает Шукадева Госвами, "Пожалуйста, расскажи мне подробно о деяниях Господа Кришны." So here he is saying that Kurtavan yani Vishvatma tani no vada vistarad. He is telling that. Lord Krishna has performed so many different pastimes on this planet earth and please tell me gradually one by one everything. Он говорит, Господь Кришна совершил так совершил так много замечательных игр здесь на поверхности земли. Пожалуйста, расскажи мне о каждой из них одну за другой. There are two types of Krishna katha. Есть два вида Кришна катхи. One which which is spoken by Krishna himself which is Bhagavad Gita and one it is Shrimad Bhagavatam which is about Krishna. Одна из них это то, что и за что непосредственно Иисус Кришна сам рассказал, и это Бхагавадхи, да? Другая Шримад Бхагаватам – это рассказы о деяниях Господа Кришна. And any conditioned living entity, when he becomes interested in hearing this Krishna Katha, his business in the material world is finished. И любое обусловленное живое существо, когда оно начинает интересоваться слушанием Кришна Катхи, тогда приходит конец его существованию в материальном мире. Our progress of Krishna consciousness lot depends Hmm? It depends completely on how much eager are we to hear about the message of the Lord. Наш прогресс в сознании Кришны полностью и целиком зависит от того, насколько мы горим желанием слушать послание Господа. Because it is like an uh, it is like an thermometer. We can find out, we can uh, we can find find out how much uh, are we eager to hear Krishna. How much how much we are eager eager to hear Krishna Gratha that much. we are advanced in our krishna consciousness это подобно термометру который измеряет температуру тела также потому насколько мы горим желанием слушать кришна катху можно судить о том насколько мы продвинулись в сознании кришны and if you are not at all interested then better we should show you uh, sadhu ved we should show a doctor а если кришна катха вас не интересует тогда лучше показаться доктору то есть прийти на прием к sadhu so if you have less interest in hearing krishna katha 
then that means our devotional level of devotion is very less. И если интереса к служению Кришна Гадхи немного, значит уровень нашего преданного служения тоже далеко не высок. If you are always greedy for hearing Krishna Katha, that means everything is fine. А если мы все время горим желанием слушать Кришна Катху, тогда значит все у нас хорошо. And Kirtanat Eva Krishna Sya Mukta Sangha Param Vajay. That is simply by chanting and repeating the words of the, of uh, of the Lord Shri Krishna, hearing Krishna Katha or speaking Krishna Katha, one becomes liberated. И просто воспевая славу Господа, прославляя Его, человек обретает освобождение. For devotees who are who are glorifying Lord's activities, pastimes. They become very easily liberated. И преданные, которые прославляют деяния Господа его игры, с легкостью обретают освобождение. This therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, "Yara dekha tare kaha Krishna ubdesh. Whomever you meet, please tell them about Krishna." Поэтому Chaitanya Mahaprabhu сказал каждому, кого бы ты ни встретил, рассказывай ему о Кришне. So because and if why what will happen when we speak about Krishna? Kirtana deva Krishna se mukta sanga param param vajet. If we speak about Krishna, we will become liberated completely. И что же происходит, когда мы рассказываем о славе Господа Кришны? Киртана Тва Кришна Сьяму Та Санга Парам Раджет. Мы полностью освобождаемся от реального мира. And the glorification of the Supreme Lord has to be heard from a proper, proper person. А прославление в адрес Верховного Господа нужно слушать из уст подобающего, достойного человека. And only those people will hear Rilish Krishna Katha who are not interested in the material world. И наслаждаться Кришна Катхой смогут только те люди, которые не интересуются материальным миром. Or I can put in, we can put in other words that those who are interested in uh, <coughs> they might have material desires, but they are interested in hearing Krishna Katha. And if they hear Krishna Katha, then all their Interest for the material world, material business will be finished completely. Либо мы можем сказать по-другому: человека может интересовать материальный мир, но если он хочет служить Кришна Катху, тогда благодаря слушанию Кришна Катхи весь его интерес к материальному миру исчезнет напрочь. So hearing Krishna Katha is the right medicine for coming out from the cycle of birth and death. Итак, слушание Кришна Катхи это подобающее лекарство для того, чтобы чтобы освободиться из цикла рождения и смерти. Sumaras so Parishad is required, required, saying to Shukdev Goswami that Krishna Katha is so glorious, so powerful. Who will not like to hear Krishna Katha? И Махараджи Парикшит задает вопрос Шукадеви Госвами, что Кришна Катха такая замечательная, такая прекрасная. Да кто же найдется ли человек, который не захочет ее слушать? One might say simply by hearing Krishna Katha, one will be free, liberated. Кто-то может сказать, так что если просто слушать Кришна Катху, можно обрести освобождение? I'll give you two examples, one from Bhagavad Gita and one in general. И чтобы подтвердить это, я приведу вам два примера. Один из Бхагавад Гита, а другой общий пример. Лорд Кришна сказал Бхагавад Бхагавад Гита: "Жанма карма ча мэ девьям эйом вяти тактвата тактва дэхам пунра жанма нэти мамэти сварджуна". Господь Кришна говорит в Бхагавад Гите стих. Кришна says that if you know about my birth, my activities, <coughs> my form that they are transcendental, hmm? then tactva deham punarjan. You will not take birth again this in this material world. Кришна говорит, если человек познал мои явления и деяния, тогда он больше не родится в материальном мире. So simply by understanding, simply understand that means that means simply hearing. Просто поняв, это значит просто слушая. Hmm? And <coughs> simply by giving oral reception to Shrimad Bhagavatam, Maharaj Parishit perfected his life. И просто слушая Шримад Бхагаватам, Махараджа Парикшит сделал свою жизнь совершенной. So many time devotees they ask a question. What is the application of Bhagavatam? Часто преданные задают такой вопрос: а каково практическое применение Шримад Бхагаватам? We hear Bhagavatam, but what is the application of Bhagavatam? Мы слушаем Шримад Бхагаватам, а практическая польза то какая от него? अरे जन्म कर्मच में दिव्य में यों में ती तक्ते तक्तवा दे हम पुनर जन्म नहीं थी मामे तो स्वर्ग नहीं इसलिए सिंपली अंडरस्टैंड दैट कृष्णा हिज बर्थ हिज एक्टिविटीज हिज फॉर्म हियर आर ट्रांसेंडेंटल व्हेन यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट लव एंड लव एंड डिवोशन इन हियर दोस पास टाइम्स एंड यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे आर � So, <coughs> when you have, when you are sick, when you become sick, you go to a doctor. Когда вы болеете, вы идете к врачу. So you say, doctor, I am sick. The doctor will give you medicine. Hmm? He said, okay, seven days, morning, afternoon, evening, you take these medicines, and you will be fine. Вы говорите, о, доктор, я болен. И 
он прописывает вам лекарство и говорит, семь дней принимает лекарство утром, вечером и поправишься. You say, doctor, I'm sick. What should I do to become become all right? Вы говорите, но господин доктор, я же болен. Что мне делать, чтобы поправиться? Doctor says, take this medicine, will be fine. Доктор говорит, принимай это лекарство и все у тебя будет хорошо, выздоровеешь. No, no. What is the application? What should I do so that I can become fine? Мы говорим, нет, ну какое практическое применение? Что конкретно я могу сделать, чтобы поправиться? Simply take this medicine, you will be fine. Да просто принимай это лекарство и поправишься. And you take this medicine, and you become fine. Если будешь принимать лекарство, тогда обязательно выздоровеешь. Similarly, when you hear Krishna katha, you become, you develop unalloyed love for Krishna, and that that becomes that becomes the cause of coming out from the repeated births and death. И подобным образом, просто слушая Кришна как Бог, человек разобьет беспримесную любовь к Господу Кришне, и это станет причиной его освобождения с этого мира. And suddenly, Krishna Katha, uh, one has to hear Bhagavatam from a person whose life is Bhagavatam. И слушать Кришна Катху нужно из уст личности, чья жизнь также является Бхагаватом. Because only he can give you the right medicine. The right doctor can give you the right medicine. Потому что только такой человек может дать. Настоящее лекарство, правильный, настоящий авторитетный врач может дать вам настоящее лекарство. So, when we hear this Krishna Katha, when again and again and again and again we hear this from a proper person, then gradually, gradually what happens? Nashta Prayashu Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shlokar Bhaktir Bhavati Nashtaki. Gradually, gradually after hear Krishna Katha, all the contaminations in the heart is completely cleansed. And one develops pure love for Lord Shri Krishna. И когда мы слушаем Кришну Катху постепенно, постепенно, все наше сердце очищается, и мы развиваем чистую любовь к Господу Кришне. Three things happen when a person hears Krishna Katha. И когда человек слушает Кришну Катху, с ним происходит одновременно три вещи. Or three things happen when one person hears Shrimad Bhagavatam. И также три вещи происходят, когда человек слушает Шримад Бхагаватам. First, his all his doubts are cleared. Первое, все его сомнения развеиваются. Second, his karma is slackened. Второе, карма его уничтожается. And third, pure love of God. И третье, чистая любовь к Богу проявляется в его сердце. Is manifested in the heart. Проявляется в его сердце. Simply by hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam. Просто благодаря слушанию Шримад Бхагаватам. And there's some Sankirtan going on. Normal. Я говорю обычное дело у нас. So, so Maharaj Parishit, he is remembering. He wants to eagerly know about Krishna because he is he is saying few things. He remembers now. He is remembering some of the past times or some of the association his grandfather received from Lord Shri Krishna. He is remembering those things. И Махараджа Парикшит хочет услышать о Господе Кришне. И он вспоминает все эпизоды общения, которые были у его предков, у его отца, его семьи, братьев с Господом Кришне. Махарадж Парикшит говорит, что, дорогой Господь, я могу понять, что мои предки, мои отцы, мои братья, они не были бедными. Они 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 были бедными. Он говорит, мой дорогой Гуру Дэв, я понимаю, что мои предки, они сражались на поле битвы Курикшетра, и они победили, обрели там победу. They got victory over whom? Bhishma Pita Maha, Drona Charya, and all these great personalities, they got they got victory over them just because of Lord Sri Krishna. И кого они победили там? Bhishma Pita Maha, Drona, всех этих великих личностей они победили просто потому, что с ними был Господь Кришна. It is said that. It was if we compare the army of the Kauravas and Pandavas, the Kauravas army was huge. И говорится, что если сравнить армии Кауравов и Пандавов, то армия Кауравов была огромная. And if we compare the strength of the strength of Vishnu Pitama, Drona Charya, Kripa Charya, and all these great as great personalities in comparison to Arjuna's Pandav, Arjuna, Dhyushchandra, and others, they were like mosquito. И также говорится, что если сравнить силу этих воинов, Бишма Девы, Дроначари, Крипачари и других великих военачальников, сравнить с армией пандовов, то по сравнению с ними, Арджуна и его братья, они были просто как комары. И 
И говорится, что они могли вот так вот всех их перещелкать. Once in the battle, once in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, <coughs> Duryodhana saw that Bhishma Pitama was not fighting with his with his with his uh, full uh, capacity. Однажды на поле битвы Курукшетра Дурьодана увидел, что Бишма Питамаха не сражается в полную силу. So he, he got, got very upset and he went to Bishma Pita. И он очень расстроился и подошел к Бишма Деву. And he said, Bishma Dev, this is not good. You are you are eating my food and you still have love for that Pandavas? И он сказал, Бишма Дев, это не хорошо. Ты у меня кормишься. А любишь пандавов? You are fighting for me and you have love for them? Ты на меня сражаешься на моей стороне, а их ты значит все-таки любишь. Mm. And if you keep on fighting like this, then all my military, all my soldiers will die and they will, they will become victorious. Если ты будешь в таком же духе продолжать сражаться, то всех моих воинов убьют, а они одержат победу. Mm. I for this reason I did not de I declared war. I I had faith in you that you will fight for me. Mm? Then that's why I declared war against the Pandavas. Не с этой целью я затеял эту битву. Я же тебе верил, что ты будешь за меня сражаться, поэтому я и затеял эту войну с Пандавами. And the way you're fighting, it looks like you're garlanding, Azuna, you're garlanding this Sri Maharaj with your arrows. А твой стиль битвы, он похож на то, что ты просто гирляндами украшаешь Гудхишкиру и всех Пандавов гирляндами из стрел просто. Is this a fight? Это что, битва что ли? It should be better. We could have discussed this in in the uh, in the uh, in our home itself. Sorry. It was better if we could, if we, if this was the case. You should have told me in the home itself. Before. Before only. Да, если ты так собирался сражаться, надо было заранее мне еще до битвы все это сказать. So you you are eating my food. I am maintaining you. I am giving you everything, and still you have love for Pandavas. Слушай, я же тебя кормлю, я тебя поддерживаю, обеспечиваю всем, а ты по-прежнему Пандавов. So that disturbed Bhishma Pita. He became very upset. And in a very angry mood, he said that Duryodhan. Mind your words. Hmm? Okay. Tomorrow, before sunset, the Pand either Pandavas they will have to give up. They will give up their life. Or Krishna will have to pick up the weapon, uh, weapons. Я обещаю, что завтра до захода солнца либо Пандавы расстанутся с жизнью, либо же Господь Кришна вынужден будет нарушить свое обещание и взять в руки оружие. Но Кришна took a vow to not lift any weapons. А Кришна принял обед не брать в руки оружие. So Duryodhana said, yes, yes. Even that happens, then that all that also very good. Duryodhana сказал, да, да. Если это произойдет, он нарушит свое обещание. Это тоже очень хорошо. Krishna will get a bad name. Тогда Кришна порочит свое имя. And the whole world will laugh at him. И весь мир будет над ним смеяться. Oh, Bishma Pitama, if that also happens, no problem. Поэтому good, если good. это произойдет, тоже хорошо. Mm -hmm. So the Duryodhana was very happy. Duryodhana mm -hmm. был очень счастлив. And he said, okay, now either of two things is going to happen. Either Krishna is going to lift the weapon, or Arjuna or Pandavas will die. И он довольный был. Ну вот завтра тогда либо Арджуна и Пандавы погибнут, либо Кришна оружие возьмет. Труп. So next day Bishma Pitama he fought like a lion. Now Bishma Pitama had the capacity. He was he was 400 years old, and he had the capacity to kill at one time 10,000 soldiers. И Бишма Пятама Ха ему было 400 лет от роду, и у него была такая мощь, что он мог мог одним разом убить 10 тысяч воинов. Nobody in the whole universe, nobody in the whole universe, nobody. Was capable of fighting with Bhishma Pitama. Никто во всей вселенной, во всей вселенной, никто не был способен сражаться с Бишма Пятама. Nobody. Вообще никто. And such Bhishma Pitama today was fighting very fiercely. И вот Бишма Пятама Пятама Ха сражался очень яростно в этот день. All, all of them got defeated. И всех, всех там в капусту рубил. Almost, it seemed, it seemed. It seemed like today is the last day of this of this uh, war, and today Bhishma Pitama is going to finish the war. И казалось, что это последний день битвы, и в этот день Бишма Питамаха он все завершит сражение, всех прикончит. Бишма Питама single-handedly he defeated everyone except for Arjuna, uh, except for Arjuna. Он в одиночку всех там победил, за исключением Арджуны. And at the last, he came in front of Arjuna. И напоследок он предстал перед Арджуной. And 
uh, he was fighting so so quickly and so intensely that he did not give Arjuna the time to pick up his arrow, put it on the bow and target it towards Bhishma Pitama. Bhishma Pitama did not give even the slightest second. Arjuna was uh, Arjuna was tired. What's what is happening today? Hmm? He was just dancing. Bhishma Pitama made him dance on these arrows. And he was piercing Krishna's body and he was piercing Arjuna's body with his arrows. Even, even blood was coming out from Krishna's body, blood was coming out from Arjuna's body. And Krishna was seeing like this towards Arjuna. And just at that when Krishna saw like this towards Arjuna, Arjuna was, oh, he was doing like this. He, he was prospering. His, and Arjuna thought to himself, today, I cannot, today the, everything, today the war is over. Bhishma Betam has finished the war. I cannot do anything to it. I cannot do anything. And as soon as Krishna was looking behind, he saw this scene of Arjuna and then he got Krishna got upset now. And Krishna jumped from the chariot. And as soon as Krishna jumped from the chariot, there was an earthquake. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna had picked up the wheel which was lying there. He picked up and he made it into a Sudarshan Chakra. And he ran towards Bhishma Pitamaha. And while he was running, the earth was trembling. He, <coughs> he lost uh, Krishna, he lost his Pitambar. And Arjuna realized what has happened. That Krishna has picked up a weapon and is going to kill Bhishma Pitamaha. Arjuna jumped from the chariot. And he went and caught hold of Lord Krishna's feet. He said, my dear Lord, don't do this. So he was holding Krishna's feet and Krishna was dragging, dragging him. Krishna was dragging him. Krishna said, you rascal, you have, you have completely forgotten how to fight. You are a big shame on Dronacharya. You rascal, I am going to finish this. If, if I don't finish Bhishma, today Bhishma is going to finish all of you. Oh Krishna, you have taken a vow that you should never not pick up a weapon. You rascal, forget about the vow. You are going to die, he's going to kill you. Can't you see that? Krishna, no, ты же пообещал, что ты не возьмешь в руки оружие. Да ты что? Ты что, забудь об этом обещании. Ты что, не понимаешь, что он сейчас убьет всех вас, если я не возьму в руки оружие? And Bhishma Pitama was, was uh, while this was going on, Bhishma Pitama was not stopping. Hmm? He was, he was, uh, <coughs> he was continuously showering arrows on Krishna as well. And Krishna had an armor, kavacha, hmm? which that kavacha broke, and and it was uh, and it was still it was hanging on his body, but it broke. And but and Krishna was, and Bhishma was uh, he pointed again he was uh, showering hours on Krishna's chest and all the blood was coming out from his body. And then finally hmm, Krishna Krishna he he was about to throw his wheel towards towards Bhishma Pitama and finish 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 him off. Imagine that scene. Arjuna is catching hold of Krishna's lotus feet very tightly. Mm? 
крепко держится за стопы Кришны. Кришна is dragging him and with the wheel in his hands towards Bhishma. И uh, Кришна тянет его туда, Арджуна его держит, и Кришна тянет, движется к Бишме. And Bhishma is still put shoring our, our arrows on him. А Бишма не, не прекращает выпускать стрелы в него. And then all, all of a sudden Bhishma Vitama stops. И внезапно Бишма потом останавливается. He folds his hands and says, Oh my dear Krishna, please come ahead and kill me. Although I have, I can, I have a boon by which I can die by my own, at my own sweet will. But today, I, I wish to die now. Please Krishna, please come and kill me. So Bhishma Bhittama keeps his bow and arrow down and he folds his hand and stands. Please, but somehow, but somehow Arjuna convinces Krishna to please, he'll fight, hmm? he'll fight, he'll fight, hmm? to his full strength he'll fight. Yes. <coughs> so, so, so Maharaj Parishita is remembering that because of <coughs> Lord Krishna's presence, with the Pandavas, they were able to defeat the gigantic so army of uh, Kauravas. Krishna made it so easy actually for them. Krishna made it because they were they were not they were only few of them. Ex only the Pandavas were the only powerful people. And that too Vishwanath Guru Thakur is saying comparison, if we compare Pandavas and Vishnapitama, Dronachara and everything, the Pandavas were like mosquito. And <coughs> then Maharaj Parish is also remembering that how Krishna protected him in the womb of his mother from the Brahmastra which was sh shot by Ashwatthama. Ashwatthama, he, <coughs> uh, he sent six Brahmastras, five towards the Pandavas and one towards uh, his uh, Parikshit Maharaj. And when, <coughs> when uh, Pandavas were in such a situation that uh, although they were the Pandavas were the greatest uh, warriors on the planet, and when Brahmasra came towards them, all of a sudden they were they could not protect themselves. So Krishna used the Sudarshan Chakra and and he nullified the effects of the five Brahmastras at one time. And <coughs> here uh, Kunti Maharani when she was offering her prayers at that time Uttara came running <coughs> and she was saying that oh Krishna Krishna please protect my womb this, this Brahmastra is, is burning my body and it is directed towards my, my, my womb. So in front of Lord Krishna, in front of everyone, Lord Krishna himself, he entered the uh, womb of Uttara and with his Sudarshan Chakra he protected. The, he protected Parikshit Maharaj. So here Parikshit Maharaj was remembering all these things when he when he uh, put forward this question to Shukdeva Goswami that please speak about Krishna. So Maharaj Parikshit started remembering all those pastimes with the Pandavas and with himself. And Lord Shri Krishna <coughs> is so merciful that whoever comes and uh, whoever gets killed by him, killed by him, hmm, is suddenly delivered. 
И Господь Шри Кришна настолько милостив, что каждый, кто предстает перед ним, если он убит самим Господом, то такой человек the Mahabharat, освобождение. The Mahabharat war was the war in which all the soldiers, all the soldiers who died on that war field, they all attend Vaikunta. И битва, которая описана в Махабхарате, там описывается, что все войны, погибшие там, достигли Вайкунхи. Normally in the battlefield what happens? When there is battle, then the soldiers, when they die, they attain uh, Swarga, heavenly planets. But this was the only battle where everybody attained Vaikuntha. Why? Because everyone was giving up his body in front of Krishna. And Krishna already, Krishna with his glance, he already hmm, took away the, uh, they took away all the uh, <coughs> cycle of birth and death from their life. Three, he, he liberated already them. So this was, this was uh, what Maharaj Parishit was remembering all these things. And then he is saying, <coughs> Oh Shukadeva Goswami, Rohinya Stanaya Prokto Rama Sankarshana Stvaya Devakya Garbha Sambando Kuto Dehan Taravinaha. He is saying that Gurudev, I think something is wrong or something is very mysterious with related to Balram. And he says, Gurudev, I think something is mystical with the Balram. Because you, while mentioning the dynasty, well, we mentioned the dynasty at that time, you mentioned that Balram is the son of Devaki. Hmm? And then again, while describing hmm, uh, Rohini's uh, son, you are describing that Balram is also the son of Rohini. Now, what is this? How can one person take birth from two mothers? Девоки, и потом ты также сказал, что он сын Рахини. А как же может быть так, чтобы один человек, одна личность была сы сыном двух разных матерей? So I want to know about this mystery about Balram. Я хочу узнать эту тайну, связанную с явлением Баларама. And I want to know why, I don't want, I want to know why, why did Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, why did he leave hmm, Mathura and go to Vrindavan? И также я хочу узнать, почему Господь Кришна, Верховная Личность Бога, оставил Матхуру и отправился во Вриндаван. Where all did he live in Vrindavan? What and what did he do? Где во Вриндаване он жил и чем он занимался? And <coughs> while he lived in, uh, uh, why did he kill Kamsa? И также, а почему он убил Камсу? Камса was his uncle. Камса yeah. был его дядей. Who kills? Who kills one's uncle? А yeah. кто убивает свой, своих дядей? This is not Shastrik. Hmm? He has to lead by example and what example has he said that he is killing his uncle? Such killing is not sanctioned in Shastra. And how can Krishna do that? So I want to know why did he kill Kamsa? And Krishna, he has no material body but he appears to be like a human being. So how many days did he live in Vrindavan? How many days did he live in Mathura? And how many days did he live in Dwarka? So he spent 11 years in Vrindavan, 18 years in Mathura and 100 years in Dwarka. I am just telling you because we are not going to discuss I'm I'm already telling you this is this is how many years you spent. <coughs> and then he is saying that O Shukadeva Goswami, you know everything about Krishna. So please describe me in detail everything about which I have inquired from you and which I have not inquired from you. Поэтому, пожалуйста, расскажи мне все, что я узнал от тебя, и все, чего я еще не узнал от тебя. But then Shukadeva Goswami said, Maharaj Parishit, I think you, I think you are very hungry and thirsty. Но затем он говорит, Maharaj Parishit, я думаю, что ты очень голодный и большую жажду испытываешь. And his last 
this last three four days we are continuously discussing day and night so you might be thirsty or hungry so please go and eat something drink something drink something he is also in competition with me <coughs> so <coughs> Maharaj Parish said that oh my dear Guru Maharaj because of this thirst and hunger hunger I got cursed mm? uh, I, I offended a, a Rishi Samik Rishi because of this thirst and hunger <coughs> Parishit Maharaj he once went for hunting and while traveling in the forest, <coughs> he became very thirsty and very hungry. And so he went to a Shamik Rishi's ashram. And there Shamik Rishi, he was sitting in meditation. And he was fixed in the meditation of Lord. And Maharaj Parishit, he when he saw that nobody was welcoming him, so he got very offended. He was very thirsty, he was very hungry. If you are very thirsty and if you are very hungry, and you tell your wife, please, I am coming, so please cook nicely and keep it. Hmm? Keep prasadam ready. And you reach home and the cooking has not yet started. And then what will you do? So Maharaj Parishad became very upset. And he said, <coughs> and he said to himself, what is this? There is no, I am the king of the whole world and I have come to that place. I just want a little food and little water and they are not providing me. So he put, the dead snake was lying there. He picked up that dead snake and he garlanded that dead snake in the neck of that Shamik Rishi. So, Shukadev Goswami to test Maharaj Parikshit, he stopped here saying that <coughs> you eat something Maharaj Parikshit and drink something. Actually, that Shami Grishu's son, he cursed Maharaj Parikshit to die in seven days. He cursed him that on the seventh day a snake bird will come and bite you and he will he will kill you. So considering that thirst and hunger to be the cause of his offense towards Sadhu, he gave up thirst, he gave up eating and he gave up drinking. So he said to Gurudev, oh Gurudev, now this thirst and hunger will not disturb me. Because I am hearing Krishna Katha from your lotus mouth. So I am completely satisfied. Hmm? I have, I am neither thirsty, I am neither hungry. So my dear Gurudev, please continue narrating. <coughs> and then, <coughs> hearing <coughs> Sutta Goswami, he is saying that when Shukadeva Goswami heard such beautiful questions from uh, Maharaj Parikshit, then Shukadeva Goswami became very pleased. And then Shukadeva Goswami began speaking on Krishna, which is the remedy for all, which is the remedy for all the sufferings in the days of Kali. Now, <coughs> Shukadeva Goswami 
did not do any did not give an electric shock to maharaj parikshit hmm? that he he got all the transcendental knowledge immediately и шукада вы с вами он не дал какого-то не было потом на тому как электрический заряд передается я тебе передал все свое трансцендентное знание he simply spoke about krishna to maharaj parikshit он просто рассказывал махараджи парикшиту о кришне Mm-hmm. And Maharaj Parikshit simply by hearing about them, hearing about the transcendental activities of the Lord, he perfected his life. И Маханаджа mm-hmm. Парикшит просто слушая о Господе, слушая о трансцендентных деяниях, достиг совершенства. It is said, mm-hmm. what is real initiation? И объясняется, что такое подлинная инициация. So Gyanam Danam Param Diksha. Mm-hmm. The transcendental knowledge is real initiation. Трансцендентное знание это Mm. <coughs> in <coughs> it is not that uh, this the spiritual master does something very mystical. Не так, что духовный учитель он что-то мистическое делает по отношению к ученику. In India there are uh, so many so-called yogis and all. Mm. They they are into this kundalini and so many other things. So I was attending one of the <coughs> Uh, long bank bef- before coming to Krishna consciousness, that is, it is 17, 18 years ago. I used to go to different, different stages. So, at one place, I saw that they were practicing this Kundalini thing. И в Индии много разных йогов, там мистиков, и вот там есть такие практикующие Кундалини йогу. И давно еще до сознания Кришны, когда мне было 17, 18 лет, я путешествовал, искал, и я вот пришел к таким йогам, Кундалини йогам. And I was sitting in that assembly, and that spiritual master was there. And by his presence, all the uh, all the disciples of his were jumping like monkeys, and they are all hmm, and they are all showing some kind of symptoms of ecstasy, so-called ecstasy. So I was sitting and I was saying that things happening to me. Я сидел и думал, ну со мной почему ничего не происходит? And all around me were jumping. Everybody was jumping like, huh? А вокруг все вот прыгают, извиваются. Ah, oh, so, so everything was. So I was saying, what is this not happening to me? Я думал, а почему со мной ничего такого не происходит? And I was saying, something is wrong with me. Я думал, наверное, что-то mm-hmm. со мной не так. So I went for next three, four days. Я приходил на следующий день, на другой еще три, четыре дня приходил. Thinking that something will happen to me. Думал, что со мной тоже что-то произойдет, должно произойти. But nothing happened. Но ничего не происходило. I said I'm I'm un- most unfortunate. Я подумал, я в высшей степени неудачник. That this thing is not working on me. Что со мной ничего mm-hmm. не происходит. But then gradually, then later on, after coming to Krishna consciousness, I realized that the real knowledge, the real initiation is the transcendental knowledge. Но позже, когда я пришел в сознание Кришны, я понял, что истинная инициация — это передача трансцендентного знания. Шукдев Госвами испок Шимада Бхагаватам ту Махарадж Парикшит. Шукдев Госвами рассказал Шимад Бхагаватам Махарадж Парикшит. And Махарадж Парикшит simply by giving and hearing it, simply hearing it, he perfected his life. И Махарадж Парикшит просто слушая все это, достиг совершенства. So, A spiritual master, he enlightens the disciple in the in the knowledge of Krishna. Итак, духовный учитель просвещает своего ученика, давая ему знания о Кришне. О магьяна ти мирандасья, гьянан жанам шалакая, чакшурун милтам яна тасмай сри гурвенама. If we, if we see in the whole of Shrimad Bhagavatam, do we see that Shukdev Goswami kept his hand on Maharaj Parikshit and Maharaj Parikshit mm-hmm. got all those ecstatic symptoms? На протяжении Shrimad Bhagavatam были ли такие сцены, чтобы Шукадев Госвами возложил руку на голову Махараджи Парикшита и тот задрожал? No, he simply spoke about Krishna. Нет, он просто рассказывал о Кришне. And simply by hearing that he was able to finish his <coughs> cycle of birth journey of cycle of birth and death и просто слушая кришне махараджа парикшит мог закончить свой uh, этот цикл перерождения рождения и смертей so spiritual master by speaking krishna katha hmm, he transfers krishna from his mind to the mind of disciple так духовный учитель рассказывая кришну катху он передает кришну из своего ума в ум своего ученика so disciple has to hear them at hear that attentively Hmm? And inquire from a spiritual master. Hmm? About about like what Maharaj Parishit is inquiring about Krishna. Подобные тем вопросам, которые задал Махараджа Парикшит, вопросы о Кришне. 
when the spiritual master is pleased by such inquiries, hmm, then sh then Shukdev goes then then <coughs> then the spiritual master by while speaking Krishna Katha, he transfers Krishna from his heart to the heart of a sincere disciple. И когда духовный учитель доволен этими искренними вопросами ученика, тогда он передает Кришну из своего сердца в сердце ученика. So Shukdev Goswami was very pleased with Maharaj Parikshit. Shukadeva Goswami был очень доволен Махараджи Парикшитом. He said, "Oh, your Majesty, you are the best of all the kings." Он сказал, о, великий царь, ты лучший из всех царей. Why? Because you are very greatly attached to the topics of Lord Vasudev. Почему? Потому что ты так сильно привязан к темам, связанным с Господом Васудевом. Because your intelligence is fixed, Lord Krishna. Потому что разум твой сосредоточен на Господе Кришне. And because of that, you will attain the perfection. И благодаря этому ты достигнешь совершенства. The Ganges, the Ganges, the Ganges water just like. Uh, when it, it comes, it emanates from the lotus feet of the Lord, and it purifies the whole world. Similarly, when one when one asks questions about Lord Krishna, hmm? <coughs> uh, this this the ask when the person who is asking the question is purified, the person the preacher he is he is purified, and also the all the general audience he is also purified. И когда рассказываются темы связанные с Господом Кришна, чаще и рассказчик. И тот, кто слушает, тот, кто задает вопросы, и те, кто присутствует при этом. So, <coughs> Shukdev Goswami is saying that once <coughs> Mother Earth, she was overburdened with hundreds and thousands of uh, irreligious kings. И Шукадев Гасами начал раз свой рассказ, что однажды Земля была uh, преисполнилась бременем от того, что на ее поверхности so she, много безбожных людей. So she took the form of a Mother Earth, a, a cow, and she went to Lord Brahma. И она приняла форму матери коровы и отправилась к Господу Браму. And very with 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 immense pain in her heart, she requested Lord Brahma to please help her. И чувствуя сильную боль в своем сердце, она стала просить Господа Браму, чтобы он, пожалуйста, помог ей. So they had a meeting. Brahma, Lord Shiva, and all the demigods they had a meeting. Все полубоги собрались вместе. Брама, Господь Шива и другие полубоги. And then, after discussing, they all went to the Shweta Deep. И обсудив ситуацию, они все отправились на Шветодвип. The Shvetadip is a place where they connect themselves with the Supreme Lord Vishnu. Шветодвип это то место, где они обращаются к Верховному Господу Вишну. On the Shvetadip is a, like an ocean. Hmm? На Шветодвипе есть такое подобие океана. Ocean of milk. Океан молока. So Brahma, he from from that very place, Brahma, he calls up Lord Vishnu on phone. И там Господь Брама по особому телефону звонит Господу Кришне. It means that Brahma sits there in meditation. Это означает, что Брама садится там в медитации. And all the demigods they offer Purusha Sukta prayers to to the Supreme Lord. А полубоги начинают возносить молитву Purusha Sukta, прощенную Верховному. And then hearing their prayers, we while seeing this pur while singing this Purusha Sukta prayers, they also say their problems to Lord Vishnu. И затем вместе с этой молитвой Пуруша Сукта они высказывают Господу, сетуют на жизнь, рассказывают о своих проблемах. So sometimes Lord Vishnu speaks to the demigod directly. Иногда Господь Крис, Господь Вишну непосредственно разговаривает с полубогами. And sometimes he speaks to only Brahma. А иногда он обращается только к Брахме. So in this case he spoke only to Brahma. И в этом случае он обратился только к Брахме. So Brahma came out of meditation and he said that Lord, Lord Vishnu spoke to me. Brahma вышел из медитации и сказал что. And he said, Vishnu говорил со мной. And he said that the Supreme Lord is very well aware of the problems. И Верховный Господь знает о всех наших проблемах. So he has ordered, he has ordered all of you, along with your wives, you should take birth in the Yudu dynasty. И он приказывает всем вам вместе с вашими женами родиться в династии Яду. So. So Lord Brahma informed all the demigods in this way. Господь Брама рассказал обо всем этом полубогам. And he said that Lord he will himself appear along with his brother Balram. И сказал, что Господь сам явится вместе со своим братом. And his and his all his all his associates, including Shrimati Radharani and everybody will everybody will appear. He also said that he will also appear with his potency, Mahamaya, Yogamaya. 
So you all of you, you take birth as sons or grandsons in the in the families of Yadu dynasty, and you all uh, participate in this Lord's pastimes. So in this age of Kali, Lord is present in the form of His holy name. And Lord in the form of holy name is diminishing the demonic mentality of the people. If you see our life sometime back before coming to Krishna consciousness, we are not different than demons. Mm-hmm. So now after coming in the association with uh, the holy name, the Srimad Bhagavatam, the deities, we are all become so purified that we are non different than the demigods. Nama Chinta Mani Krishna Shaitanya Rasavigraha Purana Shuddho Nitya Mukto Abhinnatva Nama Namina This holy name and Shri Krishna is non different than each other. Krishna hmm. So he is <coughs> Lord Brahma is informing them that Vasudeva Grahe Sakshat Bhagavan Purusha Para Janishyate Tat Priyatartha Sambhavantu Surastriya The Lord Krishna will himself appear hmm, in, in the house of Vasudeva. So the Lord wants that you should all come and serve his his associates. Uh, his associates. So the Lord wants to give an opportunity to all the demigods to serve all the eternal associates of the Lord which we are going to appear from the spiritual world. So in, indirectly he was saying, all the demigods, you go and first serve my, my eternal associates. So, whenever a, whenever a jiva he wants to, uh, when he becomes qualified to attend the supreme supreme abode of the Lord. He is first transferred to a bhoom in, in, the, in the bhoom lila. Mm-hmm. He is first getting, he gets, gets training in that bhoom lila. And when, when the training is complete, then he, then he becomes qualified to enter in Golok Vrindavan. So when a, when a jiva has become uh, very uh, uh, qualified, then he is transferred to any some universe where Lord Bhomalila is going on. And there <coughs> the jiva uh, gets training under the eternal associates of the Lord. Mm-hmm. So that pastimes also is actually eternal pastimes because in, in every universe it is going on. Mm-hmm. But from one, when the training is completed there, then only one gets permanent job in Golok Vrindavan. When we get a new job, the first the first few days is your training period. You might be a highly qualified person. Very well experienced. Mm-hmm. But still when you join a new company, they will first put you in a training period. So that you become aware of the policies. Mm-hmm. You meet the, you meet you come become aware of all the different departments. And we come to know who are all different people serving in what department so you so that you come to know. So this is the training period going on. And then after a year's time, after induction is over, then you give then it's, then they you they give you a, a, a perfect position. So Brahma also told that Lord Ananda they will also appear. 
Лорд Анантадев, Балдев, он также появится. Он также сказал, что Господь Анантадев, Баладев тоже явится. Before the Supreme Lord. До того, как придет Верховный Господь. Mm -hmm. So Brahma says now, be quick, pack your bags and go. И Брама сказал, теперь давайте быстро покойте вещи и отправляйтесь на землю. I will also come and see you often. И я тоже буду периодически приходить mm -hmm. и мы будем видеться. So go and serve all the associates of the Lord very nicely. Отправляйтесь и служите должным образом всем сотрудникам. Mm -hmm. And everybody should go with their own wives. Don't go alone. So now they will take some time, right? The demigods will take some time to come and become sons and grandsons. Hmm? Yes. So we will give them 24 hours. Hmm? We will continue tomorrow. И завтра мы продолжим. Mm. So 24 часа они проявятся. So Есть ли какие-то вопросы? Actually, На самом and, деле сегодня я был очень уставший. Матаджи пришла, приготовила, и я после этого заснул. Exactly и проснулся ровно в 5.15. I woke up and there was a bell, Prabhu. There was someone at the bell. So, um, that's why I was late. But, but you were also, you were more late than me. So, every day I request you all of that. We have, I know that so many of your, uh, the other devotees have gone to for Vyasa Puja, but those who are here, they should try to come on time. Поэтому я знаю, что многие преданные уехали на фестиваль Читанчан вчера на Прабу, но, по крайней мере, те, кто не уехали, пожалуйста, постарайтесь приходить в время. И если возможно, прочитайте дома эти первые четыре главы десятой песни Шимад Бхагатам. Эти первые Because we are discussing from the purport, so read, read every four or five days we have. So let us absorb completely. Let us absorb completely in in birth of Lord and that this birth ceremony of Lord Krishna. Конечно, на все эти четыре дня, поэтому давайте полностью погрузимся в рождение Господа Кришны. Прочитайте четыре главы. So when you are reading nicely at your home, then you will have some questions and you will be able to relish here also. И если вы будете хорошо внимательно читать дома, тогда придя сюда, у вас будут вопросы, вы сможете наслаждаться. So let Krishna take birth in our our heart also. So all of you, I'm requesting that read also in in your in your homes. We can make an effort from your side. Yes, Mataji. Спасибо. Usually, when uh, speakers give such requests to you know, become absorbed, to read at home, we become inspired naturally. And uh, yes, it's very logical that this is very good opportunity for four days to become absorbed. But what happens usually that, that is that when we come at home and next day we have our occupation job. And we forget everything, and our determination vanishes. No Could problem. you please give some advice to maintain that determination? When I was working, when I was also working as a work in job, hmm? I used to study in my phone. Or uh, so, phone or I used to somehow open vedavest.com and I used, to, I used to study. And whenever I used to get free time, hmm, half an hour, fifteen minutes while while taking lunch and everywhere, so I used to take I used to take out time from that and I used to read. Когда выделялись какие-то промежуточки времени свободного во время обеда, там полчасика или пятнадцать минут, я тут же это время использовал и читал. 
so uh, we have to take we have to when we are busy with our uh, household life then every minute counts so we have and at every minute has to be taken into consideration we should not waste time we should not be lazy Mm. And you should try to always remain absorbed in reading. Mm. And uh, so that will keep you, uh, your enthusiasm going. Use, use whatever time is available in the middle. Read one verse, two verses, two verses from the Bhagavatam. That will keep your enthusiasm going. Mm. So, utilizing time. Mm-hmm. Five minutes, ten minutes, whatever, what, whatever comes, whatever comes our way, we should grab it. And uh, when we are uh, not, you know, when we don't get time to read, then we should meditate. Like you can easily meditate on what you heard. Contemplate. Mm. Let's suppose what we have, we have discussed, what we have discussed today, that can be your uh, meditation. And then while meditating on what we have discussed, then you will come up with some questions. Or you will we'll come up with some realizations. Mm. So that will help you. Yes, Mataji. You spoke about three results from hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. Hmm. And uh, it seems to me that you mentioned only two of them. No. Really? Your love and our uh, doubts are diminished by the hurt. Karma is slackened. Karma. Karma. Karma is slackened. Karma hmm. nas you, uh, you become liberated from the cycle of birth and death. So, uh, can I speak English? Can if you can, it will be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, you told uh, that um, there is a verse in Bhagavad Gita when Krishna tells us that if you will listen, no, if you will understand uh, mm. the secret of my Janma karma Yes, but if I feel that when I um, listen it, I don't feel like I understand it. Is it okay or it not okay? Or how it how I should understand it, that understanding is the same as listening or not? <coughs> One should hear, when we hear with rapt attention, the mind completely absorbs in that. But that, uh, but you should also. That's why I told read at home, hmm? prepare yourself. Hmm? And, and when you come here, so then you will, when you, then you will have more focus on the subject matter. Generally what happens is that our mind is already occupied with so many things. And this is uh, non-Krishna conscious things. So when, when we read, when you put an effort to 
read more read hmm? do swadhyay self study hmm? then you will be occupied you will be uh, occupied and when you hear that same subject matter what you have read then your focus is more hmm? so that will help you uh, to hear more attentively and then understand that subject matter more nicely so when you already reading it then already again hearing it then then what are your questions you have you put forward that questions and get your doubts cleared so that will help you то есть когда вы сначала читаете а потом слушаете уже вы это обдумали еще и слушаете тогда это все более глубоко проникает so it is important that not just we hear but also contemplate поэтому важно не просто слушать а также размышлять но марас парикшит he was also listening but he was also asking questions so this whole Shrimad Bhagavatam is full of question answers. Shukd Shonagadirishi asks questions to Sutta Goswami, Sutta Goswami answers them. Maharaj Parish is asking questions, Sutta Goswami is answering them. Vidura is asking, Madhura Rishi is answering them. Then Yudhishthira Maharaj is asking questions to Narad Muni, Narad Muni is answering the questions. So like this, the whole of Shrimad Bhagavatam is full of question and answers. So questions will come if we are absorbed in those that subject matter always. И вопросы придут, если мы погружены в эти темы. So that's why reading is very important. Поэтому читать очень важно. So when you are already preparing yourself, reading very nicely, and then 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 when you when you come to class, then you listen to the class, then you are then that hearing is different hearing. То есть если вы уже сами почитали и потом приходите на лекцию, вы уже подготовили себя, тогда это будет it is, with, it is with proper, it is with uh, rapt attention and then uh, you'll get more understanding of the subject matter. This is how, this is how one should be hearing Bhagavatam, with rapt attention. And when the questions comes, you put forward that questions. Hmm? Then the, you'll be able to relish those answers as well. And then again, when you go read read at home, do you will have some more questions? So that is how it goes and continues. This is how this is Bhagavatam. This is Krishna Katha. So when you ask questions, you will be purified. I am answering. I'll be purified, and the other devotees sitting here, they will also be benefited. You are giving class, how can you ask questions? <laughs> okay, can ask. Uh, could you please explain uh, how should we properly uh, prepare our consciousness? You already mentioned that we should read at home. Mm -hmm. And some other things, how we should prepare our consciousness before reading or before hearing. Because often we take it casually. and. Even as you saw today, many of us were late for the class, and uh, also uh, when we read at home, sometimes we do it casually, without, not in a way as Maharaja Parikshit did. So how can we properly prepare our consciousness for reading and for hearing Shrimad Вопрос такой, как правильно настроиться на чтение или на слушание, подготовить свое сознание к этому, потому что мы можем просто это делать в обыденном сознании дома, то есть открываю книгу, вижу книгу, не, не так, как Махараджа Парикши слушал, или сегодня вы упомянули, что многие опоздали, то есть это не то, что для нас это вот такое событие огромное, Кришна Катха, и мы так уж готовимся. И вопрос в том, как подготовиться, настроить свое сознание на слушание и на чтение. So if you have proper guidance, uh, if you're reading in, uh, reading Shrimad Bhagavatam under proper guidance, then uh, we will get some uh, you can enjoy reading. Generally what happens, Srimad Bhagavatam is a vast literature, big literature. And the enthusiasm for reading it generally is very less. 
и обычно энтузиазма, чтобы читать его немного. And even even though we become enthusiasm and read, make an effort to read it, but uh, gradually, if you go to sixth canto, seventh canto, we forget what we have read in the first canto. И даже если как-то энтузиазм есть, мы настраиваемся, но потом, пока мы дойдем до шестой песни, седьмой песни, мы уже напрочь забыли, что там первое. So then we then we ask ourselves, are we reading or just I don't know what is happening? I'm just we are just continuing, but I'm not getting anything. И тогда мы чувствуем, что я что-то там читаю, а ничего не понимаю, ничего с этого не получаю. Then our that that also helps the our enthusiasm to go down. И это тоже способствует уменьшению энтузиазма. So, for that we have brought a self-study course for you. И вот чтобы решить эту проблему, мы подготовили для вас курс самостоятельного изучения факта. My purpose for here coming only is not for seminar. Потому что цель моего приезда не в том просто, чтобы прочитать семинар для вас. We travel all over the world, giving and encouraging devotees with study techniques of how to study Bhagavatam. Я вот езжу по всему миру и вдохновляю преданных. In a simplistic way. In very simple way. Very simple way. You won't imagine that simple. We just wander half an hour every day. Currently, fifteen hundred devotees are studying Bhagavatam with us. И в настоящий момент с нами по этой методике Бхагаватам изучают полторы тысячи преданных. Three hundred devotees are studying Chaitanya Charitamrita with us. А триста преданных с нами по этой методике изучают Chaitanya Charitamrita. And these courses are absolutely free of cost, so hopefully Prabhu will arrange a time wherein we can discuss all these things. И этот курс не стоит ни копейки, поэтому будем надеяться, что мы найдем время, чтобы обсудить эту методику. So that will that will make your life very easy and that will Develop your love for Shrimad Bhagavatam. Help increase your love for Shrimad Bhagavatam. Okay, I'll give you an example. What is your good name, Prabhu? Prabhu Jha, what is your good name? Good. So, Prabhu Jha, I'll give you an example. A boy loves a girl and a girl loves a boy. They both accept each other as husband and wife. So, they, when they have accepted in their hearts that he is my husband and she has accepted that she is my wife, then the marriage is done there itself. So, but still there is a marriage ceremony done. Но все равно церемонию свадьбы делают душное приятное. The marriage ceremony is only for socialization. 
И эта свадебная церемония, она была, в общем-то, социальная. Why? Because in their marriage ceremony, all the devotees are there. Uh, that Agni, uh, that Agni Kund has been made. The Supreme Lord is there. Mm, sometimes the senior Vaishnavas are there in front in the marriage. And when the marriage is done in front of the, all of them, then uh, mm, then it makes an impact on the mind of both husband and wife that they have to commit to each other. So, uh, the ceremony is only socialization, but it creates some impact on their mind and they, they, they become uh, each other, they become very close to each other. That helps them a little bit. So sim similarly, initiation, although uh, <coughs> this, we are the part and parcel of the Lord, and uh, uh, shiksha is every shiksha is everything, mm -hmm. but still uh, that socialization ceremony uh, is needed. Social that that thing is needed. Because uh, <coughs> that creates an impact to some extent on the mind of the disciple. Hmm? In the initiation, the spiritual master changes the name of the disciple. Earlier, he, he is identifying himself with his earlier name. And that is generally that is generally uh, uh, given given by us, uh, and then it, it is not a spiritual name normally. And uh, <coughs> we are normally in the bodily concept of life that in that time. So when the spiritual name is given to us, then we start identifying ourselves as a servant of Lord. Oh, what is your name? My name is Brat Sundar Das. Hmm? Earlier my name was Bhushan. Hmm? So I used to think, I am, and I was a professional actor, you know. I was, a, I was practiced, I was a theatre actor for three years. Mm. So I was very very proud and very very puffed up person. Mm. But then <coughs> gradually I met the devotees. I but still that pride was still there in my, in me. Mm. Because I used to perform in front of thousands of audience. I used to perform in front of But gradually when I met my, when my, met my spiritual master and he gave me a name Brat Sundar Das Then it, it created a big impact on my mind The first thing that I am It was in fit that I am Brat Sundar Das Mm -hmm. Your life for, for, for Bhushan as a theatre actor is now finished. <laughs> you have to, you are now, you should you start identifying ourselves as a servant of the Lord. And then gradually, gradually, the things start changing. Yeah. Although this is, although that was, uh, uh, that uh, initiation is, is a socialization, but it created an impact on, on my mind. The real initiation is a transcendental knowledge. The, the real initiation is start, the initiation starts when we hear when we start when we start hearing about Krishna from so many devotees. Hmm? That is initiation. Gyanam Danam Param Diksha. The transcendental knowledge is initiation. Hmm? But at the same time also this is needed. 
This this the ceremony of initiation is needed. The name giving ceremony, the changing of the name is needed. Because, it, because it's to some extent it helps us to uh, come out of a bodily concept of life and then surrender to Krishna uh, more because we commit in front of hundreds of devotees in front of the Lord in front of we commit that oh I have I have now surrendered I have to surrender my life to Krishna. Hmm? So I tried my best to help you on that. But now if you ask me that there are one has to do so many courses before taking initiation all this is I don't know about that. <laughs> there are so many formalities to be done. I gave you the understanding of why initiation ceremony is been performed. This is the understanding what I have heard from the sadhus that this is the understanding why is initiation ceremony performed. Why is initiation although it is external thing but love it is not uh, considered that important but still it is important so that it creates impact on the life of the disciple. So, or this is what I tried to explain. I don't know if you are convinced or not. I don't know if you are convinced or not. I tried to explain why initiation, although it was an external part, but it is very important. Because we don't know the language, so it's very different. Very different becomes difficult sometimes to take your mood. So is it correct that path of Bhagavata? is available in its pure state, it's available only for Paramahamsas. Path of Bhagavatam? What is the path of Bhagavatam? Path of Bhagavatam, he means that the person is simply hearing, just hearing. Yes, 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 yes. Da. Da. It will deliver. Prahlad Mara says, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakhyam, Atma, Nivedanam. So this is Bhagavad Dharma. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, this is Bhagavad Dharma. That is what simply is hearing about the Lord, hearing about the Lord, chanting the holy name, chanting the glories of the Lord, doing, worshipping the Supreme Lord and this comes under the Bhagavad Dharma principles. Это все принципы Бхагавата Дхармы. То есть, условно, душа не может следовать в чистом виде пути без Паджаратры, Витхи. Это невозможно, да? So, conditioned soul cannot follow this path without Паджаратры, Витхи. Simply hearing Krishna Katha. What is... What is... There is an... Simply hear. Sit and hear. Now you are hearing Krishna Katha. You are understanding Krishna. This is simple, right? Hmm? And uh, uh, chanting the holy name of the Lord, there are no rules and regulations, just simply chanting the name of the Lord. Hmm? You, you meet someone and you, in your own words, you help them understand what is Krish, who is Krishna. This is Kirtan. Hmm? And you, uh, by constantly hearing about Krishna, by constantly chanting, by constantly speaking about Krishna, you develop a relationship with Him. Basically, you, st you start to consider Krishna as your uh, friend. Hmm? You understand that Krishna is my real friend. Hmm? So, that so this are this is such a simple thing. This is a very easy method. In this is Bhagavad Dharma is very easy. It is not complicated. Prahlad Maharaj helped this uh, Bhagavad Dharma. This explained this principles of Bhagavad Dharma to his to the sons of demons. He said that simply you keep faith in my words. Hmm. Keep faith in my words, what I am speaking. And that will help you to develop uh, love for Krishna. And they heard him and they became devotees. It's so simple.
gradually gradually we'll try to explain things in so many uh, in our classes we'll try to explain different different ways so, so over the principles of bhagavad dharma any other questions Okay. So I hope you all of you will read and come tomorrow. Some some things. Some things. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.